of VCC, and um, our union is endorsing the Step It Up Canada climate change campaign. Um, we have a lot of reasons to be worried about climate change as students. First of all, like everyone else here, we want to have a sustainable world for our future, and we see that our government isn't setting large enough targets. Every day we're told this is uh, a, a situation that is going to cause our children and our children's children huge problems and grief. I mean, we're talking about not getting food and things like that. And it's really important for future generations to be able to look at what's happening right now and see that work is being done to ensure that they have a viable future and that all species have a viable future. Climate change is important to me because if there's no clean air I have, and I have asthma, and it, I always have asthma attacks and that hurts a lot. So I'm here to uh, protest the Gateway Project mostly because of the effect it's going to have on carbon emissions, uh, the unknown impacts on the agricultural land reserve, things like Burns Bog, uh, increased uh, tra uh, container ship traffic into the ports of Vancouver, which will also negatively impact our environment. So I think it's not something that should go ahead until we've asked a lot more questions and the government has actually given us some answers. Government is a huge impact on this and I think that the more people that can get together and show that we are all concerned despite many differences that we might have, it will make a difference. And I think the bottom line is whatever new technologies there are, we have to stop consuming as much as we're consuming. So our plan <laughs> is we want to um, I guess become farmers or do I guess what's called an eco-village. Um, I've been cycling to work for years and trying to minimize the amount of fossil fuels I consume and trying to live what I speak about but nobody's perfect but we can only hope for the best and we can only hope we get politicians that that know a thing or two and that actually mean what they say. What I want our elected leaders to do and what I want our decision makers to do is move past rhetoric into action. My concerns are many and varied. I'm, I'm worried about the state of this planet. I'd like, to, I'd like to see polar ice caps stay intact. I want to have a world where our little ones can, can enjoy the same things we have today and um, not have a, a planet impoverished because of climate change. Uh, uh, change our economy to one which is democratic and social control. We need to move away from fossil fuels and nuclear energy and we need to do that within this generation. Vancouver, parts of Vancouver are going to be underwater and I'm just really concerned about that. I'm concerned about my future and I'm concerned about you know the future of, uh, of kids. What have they got to look forward to if the world's going to be um, basically destroyed and we're destroying it. Unless the majority of people take personal responsibility that things are not going to change. We basically have a generation in which to, uh, to change our way or uh, basically we face uh, a mass extinction. We need to have short-term targets. We need to have targets by 2010. We need to have targets by 2020. And we need to have an 80% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. It's going it's like, to make life more difficult for people all over the world. Uh, we're living in a time of global environmental and social crisis. You can't have one planet that all of a sudden gets six billion people, that all of a sudden produces a carbon level that hasn't been seen in 650,000 years without needing to take action.